daub a bit of paint on it and Robert's your mother's brother. Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here with some rusty French barge content that everyone seems to love. I'm here with Dad's Peugeot 406 estate. And if you haven't seen the video on the channel of us talking to Dad about his car, well, he's pretty much had it from new and it's been in the family as long as I can remember. On a T-Reg, it is a 98 model 99 and Dad is ever loving keeping it on the road. In this video, we'll have a chat with Dad because as you can see, he's doing some more repairs to the car. We'll have a chat with Dad then, see what he's done today and see what is happening in the workshop with the Peugeot 406. Afternoon, sunshine. Yeah, then, Gromit. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm just getting my own blinking jobs done instead of yours. Well, literally less than 24 hours ago, we'd got the uh, timing chain off a Hyundai i10. Then we were ahead. And now, well, I can't, can't leave you alone because the 406 is in the garage and you've got a great big hole in it. Um, the Armstrong Siddeley has gone back to mine now for anyone wondering where it's gone. And this is probably why dad is able to crack on with hey, his own here. projects. What's that? The These are good tools. That's the Titan file or something, is it? Yeah, power file. Power file. Never had one before. Where's that from? Screw fix. Yes, mate, that's where yeah. time comes from. Uh, so I've left you alone for 24 hours. You're interested in my power file, are you? Well, you? No, no, let's stop. Let's stop. Let, get this Peugeot out of here. Yeah. Let's talk about the power file. Tell us about the power file. Get it file. into lots of places that you can't get your angle grinder into. Good. Thank you very much. Oh, Have you got that out of your system now? Yeah, it's just that I wanted to tell the good people I've never had one of these before. What, what we might have to do is do a separate video on the screw fix power file. Here's another thing. Oh, here we go. Now what you bought. See these here blooming Scotch Bright discs? Yeah. You used to be able to get some really good ones from Screwfix. Yeah. Now the ones you get from Screwfix aren't so good. Is that an Urbauer? That one? Don't talk to me about Urbauer. <laughs> right, anyway, let's I'm, talk. I, I get some of these cutting discs from the Ranger. Yeah. yeah. Sabre, right? The Ranger. brand. Yeah. These are Urbauer. You get them in a big tin box from Screwfix, right? Yeah. It's like you're using a flipping stone disc on metal. Oh, right, no it good. It just clicks the metal otter and otter and otter. Good. Oh, sorry about that. No, it's all right. I haven't been to Lidl, you see, so no. I've got, to rant <laughs> got about. nothing to rant about. Right, let's talk about the Peugeot. Right, so you've been, you got sidetracked by that nonsense. Yeah. You're, putting, you're having a bit of a tidy up at the same time, I understand. Talking about nonsense, what's all these blinking shorts you're putting on about the blooming Hyundai? Don't you like the shorts? It's boring, folks, isn't you? I don't know, you tell me. They'll be bored with it before they see the proper video. Well, it's funny you should say you that. Say, oh, they're not all about that bloody Hyundai again. Um, 47,000 views on one of them on TikTok by the way. Yeah, but not on the old uh, YouTubes, go well, watch it. No, and then YouTube is the one that we make the money on. Uh, right, let's talk about Peugeot 406s. Um, we're in the garage, you're in the garage. You've got right. the 406 uh, in the garage. Guess what your mum said. What's, no, I, I can get what she said. <laughs> go on, what she said. Why don't you get something that ain't got to do all that work on? Hmm. We've just replaced a timing chain on her car. Anyway, why don't, well, let, let's I'll tell you what, let's start the video with that question. You've owned the car since, I don't know, 2000. Why do you not get... What are you doing right up there? Well, well I'm on me, I'm on me little stool. Not little stool, Ikea stool. Ikea? Yeah, I'm here in the garage, look. There we are. Ding. Oh, that's full of dust. That came off. Yeah, I know where that came off. You know where that came off. A little off. ride in Skegness. It, it got half inched. Uh, well, you knocked it all down. Yeah. Um, so it got rescued. So let's answer the question then. This? Why don't you get rid of the 406 and buy something else? Well, it keeps me handing, doesn't it? Well, and I also... Get, I won't be able to get any welding practice, <laughs> would I? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I could find another Rover for you. So it's rusty. Rover you've smoke, you've done in the previous video some welding on the near side. In fact, you put a new sill on it, didn't you? Or, 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 or some sill patches, which we've seen. And now you're working on this side. What is it you're doing? Patch in there, look. But it escalated because there's a bit of rot in there and there's a bit of rot under there, so. Let's have a look. Ooh, once I'd poking around, I'd to... I'd finish for tonight now because yes. the chap was bringing his van round. And I so, like to knock off fairly early. So this is the current situation then. How long have you been working on this today? All day? 
started about 11. Yeah. Um, you've cut out, just talk us through what you've done. You've cut out this mouldy bit from the, <laughs> from the wheel bit, arch. Yeah. Talking about mouldy bits, yeah. Thought I'd lost my blooming patch. Uh, you could, oh, you've made a patch. Show us your patch. Me patch. What you made that out of? Cheese. There's my patch to go in there. That needs a little bit of shaping when she's tacked in. But... That's good going. So you cut so you cut your old piece out, you made your patch first. Yeah. Bit of cardboard, I'm guessing. The, the patch was on the bench at the weekend. I was surprised you never spotted oh, it. I did spot it, but uh, I don't want to give that away to the viewers. Oh, you didn't talk to her. Um, you cut it out. Now what? No, I had to repair underneath, look. That's a bit, bit that'll amateur. Be, that'll be all right. So you've had to repair, oh yeah, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. You had to repair. No, that's because no, that's, that's I've welded it. Right. Look under there, dude. I um, can see you've put that patch in there. Look underneath. Let's have a look underneath there. Oh dear. Was it very rotten? Well, it had got an hole in it at the last inch and a half. Well, it makes sense while you're there so then. To put a bit on. To put a bit on. Good. So you've made your patch, you've got that like that. Um, nice to see you've masked everything up nicely. What's the next port of call then? Tack it on and... No, I'm, just, no, I'm finished now, because I don't like to weld too late in the day. When I was a youth, you weren't allowed to weld in the last half hour of work. Is that in case causing the fire? Yeah. Overnight? Yeah. Yeah. That's good, that is. Um, so what you're saying is you've got... So today, what you've achieved is you've got your file out. You've made, you your, your, file? made your patch. You've ground it out. You've put your new patch in, you've primed it, and the next port of call tomorrow is you're going to tack your... Yeah, put my sill bit in next. Tack your sill piece in. That bush. That's going to be quite obvious where you're going to paint that though, isn't it? You're going to paint the whole sill and an arch and... <laughs> Regarde you... mon visage. Or are you going to do like some people do and just paint it red oh. oxide or something? Yeah. Might run around with it in now this... Zinc galvanising spray for a week or two. <laughs> Give it time to harden. It'll be right. Good. Have you enjoyed the work today then? I like doing a bit of this. Just, just, a, just a bit of. It keeps me hand in. Bit of cocking about in Keeps the me hand in some. Well, the actual reason I'm here it's is. Look at this van. We're going to go look at my van. That's coming in a separate video because my Royal Snail van is very poorly. Very poorly? I think so because the issue has got worse. We what? won't give it away. We'll talk about it in the next video. Um, what do you reckon, how long is it going to take you to do this bodywork and get it sorted? We'll have it done by tomorrow. No. Come win out in the morning, me ma'am. Get that welding patched on welding tomorrow. Then we shall be sort of sanding and filling and daub a bit of paint on it and Robert's your mother's brother. It's three days work, isn't it? Mm. On and off. Good. So part one, done and completed. That is... No rush. The patch made and ready to go on. I'll catch up with tomorrow. That's Hyundai. I don't know whether it's running or not now. Uh, yes. Tell us about your Hyundai. You think, I stalled. Oh, no, it's not stalled. So you can't hear it. It's fixed the problem. Yes. Excellent news. And the, the, the main thing I want to ask you before we finish the video is, what has the boss said? She's not... Not, don't care. And she hasn't asked me about it. I haven't told her about it. What? <laughs> what was the point? But well, she hadn't been in it yet. Oh, right, okay. But she'll notice the difference, won't she? She'll be happy. And I'll refurbish the rear wiper blade. Uh, yeah, well, I'm also <laughs> upset that you didn't have the front wiper arms off for a refurb. Don't call me John Bullshit. <laughs> That's a job to do. John Bullshit. Right, thank you very much. We'll, uh, we'll crack you. on with something far more important, which is something from my fleet then. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, thumbs bits. up. Uh, I suppose cue the outro. There you have it then, more TLC ongoing with the 406 Estate. It's only a little job, this one, to keep that rust at bay and keep it on the road. Something that Dad is going to have done in a day or two. If you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up please. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. Comment down below for more Peugeot 406 content. Till next time, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Or au revoir. Au revoir.
Thanks for watching this latest video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, I've selected a couple more videos for you, especially on this page. You might enjoy those, and don't forget to subscribe to always keep up to date with the channel.